Hey everyone, welcome back, Alex here, and today I'm going to switch over to the Necromancer. And there's a skill, actually two skills that I want to cover here, that are very important if you're dealing with a lot of physical damage that's being made by your own team. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, the Necromancer, it's a very interesting class because it's a it's very good at doing offensive support when you're uh, in a team far more than uh, a lot of other classes I think really only the Paragon can can do as good a job as the the Necromancer in offensive support and what I mean by also by offensive support is also offensive utility and uh, the Necromancer has a lot of tools in that now when a lot of people look at the Necromancer, they look at things such as blood ritual, blood is power, um, order skills like order pain, order vampire, things like that, particularly in the blood line. But in the curse line, there are several skills that, as I mentioned, work really well with physical damage, and they are barbs and mark of pain. These skills can really crank out the damage when your team has several physical attackers. And in my team, I got three. I have Koss, who is, of course, a warrior. Two warriors, actually. Koss and Terraza and a Dervish, this is, uh, M Melanie. The nice thing about these skills is that they really scale well when you have more than one physical uh, attacker in your team and in this case of course I have three now usually your teams have a pretty good wide spread between a physical and ele elemental damage so when you carry these skills if you only have one physical attacker on your team it's like okay it, it's nice it can you know, help that one particular character out. But you have six other characters which don't really see any benefit from that skill. You know, in this case, barbs. So barbs, it really works well when you have two or more physical attackers hitting the same target. And the same goes with marker pain. With barbs, though, this is a, a very nice skill to put on any target that uh, is your primary target. So let's read it real quick. So barbs, it's 10 energy. It has a pretty long, for a necromancer, two second cast time. So that's something to keep in mind. But it does have a quick cooldown of five seconds. It's a hex spell. And for a fixed amount of time, in this case, 30 seconds, for 30 seconds, and the target foe takes 16 damage when hit by physical damage. Now, one important thing to keep in mind, though, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this skill for the skill review, is this. You've got to make sure that your warriors, your assassins, your dervishes, your rangers, whoever, whoever is doing the damage, make sure they're actually doing physical damage because it doesn't work if they're not. So, in this case, say, Terraza, she has a butterfly sword of swordsmanship. But if she had any kind of sword, I'm going to see if I have one. I don't think I do. But if she has any kind of sword that has a elemental prefix, a fiery sword, a icy sword, an ebon sword, things like that, that doesn't do physical damage. That does elemental damage. So, I mean, your warrior or your attacker has a sword that has an elemental prefix then it's not going to work with these skills. So that's one thing to keep in mind, because a lot of people, sometimes they'll use these skills and one or more attackers are not seeing the benefit from it because they're using an elemental weapon rather than a physical weapon. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So as long as they have weapons to, that do slashing, piercing, or blunt damage, then these skills will work, and they can work really, really well. So let's take a look here. We're going to head outside. And we'll see how things go. Uh, 
Okay, so this time I'm actually going to try this out in the Nightfall campaign. And we're in Corna at the Battle Caverns. And we have a group up here. Okay, there's the priest. We want to take out the priest. So we're going to put barbs on him first. There we go. And there's the numbers going up. There we go. That's what we want. And there you go. So when you saw that minus 16 really starting to float up above the target, that is when you know your skill is working. If you don't see that, of course your skill is not working. So very, very good to know and you, something you have got to see. All right, so there's the priest. Oh. Those barbs back on. And that's being protected somehow. So there you saw something that is unfortunately one of the drawbacks with the barbs spell. And that is of course the two second cast time. This can work pretty well as a necromancer secondary to a mesmer because she can or he can counteract that. Spend that priest. There's the priest. Okay. Let's get barbs on him. Okay, for some reason my warriors are not doing anything. There. Okay, I got stuck behind that. Oh yeah, there's the numbers you want to see. Very, very nice. <laughs> nice little explosion right there. So that works, again, as you saw, that works really well with Marker Pain, especially if you have enemies clumped together. Where Marker Pain doesn't work so well, again, is if they are not clumped together. All right. Yeah, my guys got stuck behind this corner here. A little AI glitch. Yeah, let's take out one more group here. This is going to be a pretty short skill review because this skill is fairly straightforward, but I wanted to point out that one thing, and that was make sure your team is doing physical damage. Because if they're not, this whole thing doesn't work. Okay. So here. Yeah, zero, 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 zero. So, so he's using protection spells to mitigate that. Probably uh, blocking skills and things like that. But the skill is still working, actually. And because of the quick recharge, this thing, yeah, can really uh, be fired off at a lot of enemies. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll do one more. This is fairly quick. So yeah, so barbs. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got two groups coming in. Don't want to fight these guys together. I'd rather patrol to go the other way. There we go. Uh, where's the priest? There's the priest.
The other thing is weakened armor here. I didn't remember, because this is hard mode, weakened armor actually works against even uh, caster enemies. Because caster enemies' armor tends to be higher than 60. Now if this was normal mode, that wouldn't work too well. So one thing a lot of people don't realize about weakened armor and the cracked armor condition is that at level 20, it's never going to drop a target's armor below 60. And since a lot of casters in normal mode has armor that's at 60 already, it doesn't see any benefit or anything uh, against casters because they're considered unarmored anyways at uh, level 60. But in hard mode, the armor tends to go up. So this does have uh, benefit even to casters. All right, so we got gin essences. Okay, enough of that. So we'll head on back here. So anyways, that's barbs. Barbs, very good skill. It's, um, it's only drawback is it's long cast time. As you saw there, I got knocked down by Meteor before I was able to get the skill off. But when you have you know, several phys physical attackers on your team, this works really, really well in just exploding damage on a single target because uh, everything just stacks linearly when you're doing with the skill. So very nice. It's good to have on your skill board, especially if you're a curse kind of supporting necromancer. It also works real well if you're a Mesmer and you can uh, use the skill in your secondary as a Necromancer secondary because of that fast casting primary attribute, you can mitigate that two second cast time. And that is uh, very, very nice. So anyways, quick skill review today. I just want to get something out. It's been a very, very busy week, which I'll describe a little bit later. But uh, this is a skill that uh, I want to show and a really that important point. Make sure you're doing physical damage. You know, a lot of those uh, martial weapons that have that elemental prefix totally negates using that skill. So if you use that skill, make sure you communicate with your team. If you're working with human players, uh, hey, they need to be doing physical damage, not elemental damage. And as long as they do that and not using spells or skills that convert everything to physical da or to elemental damage and as long as it stays to physical damage that's the key thing so anyways hope you guys enjoy this and uh, i'll talk to you soon take care bye bye